we're ready to go. I'm joking. Here we have a water test kit. It tells you on the back what it tests for. Mm-hmm. Hardiness, chloride, iron, copper, lead, nitrate, nitrite, MPS, total chlorine, fluoride, something acid, ammonia chloride, bromine, total alkalinity, carbonate, pH. Mm. And the different little colored squares. Some of those squares are very close to one another. Yeah. It's definitely not a definitive test. It's one of those things where you do it and then you would request. And here's the open one. You would then, if, if something seems a little off, you'd want to get it professionally done afterwards. Because, like. Yeah. So. Yay, I got my yawn out. It's about damn time. <laughs> Nothing worse than a stuck yawn. Open it up. It's got a silica gel packet in there to keep them all dry. Mm -hmm. So you want to close it back up when you get it. And you can stuff it back in the box with the rest of them. The instructions do say to submerge it in water for like so many seconds. It says on here for how long? Yeah, 30 well, seconds or something. 30 to 50 seconds. But uh, when I did that with the first one, it... Lady yeah, and you couldn't tell what the readings were. So it does also come with a dropper. Lid dropper. So you can drop it on the squares. So, and my thought is we should drop it on each, do each square individually instead of just going through all of them. Mm -hmm. Fill it a little more than that. And then wait before you do it. We'll get the camera in. Mm -hmm. And put it on the box, and then we've got our guide right there. Mm -hmm. So, first we will test for water hardiness to know if our water will withstand a drought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how much water do you suppose it takes? Let's throw a drop or two on there. No, that's one drop. Let's give it another drop. And then you slide it over the thing. And try to match it up to one. Well, it looks like it's dark. Well, I guess it's dark. I don't yeah, know. Probably right around. Well, probably in between these two. So up one more. Yep. There. Yep. I think that's where mm -hmm. it goes. It, on this, it totally looks like a way different. It looks like. Well, yeah, but. But yeah, it does look closer to that. Mm -hmm. So let's just my pink. camera messes up the color. My. So we do have hard water here, though. That is a known fact. Let's do the other one. Two drops here on the choline, chlorine, whatever. Which yes. the boxes show you the appropriate range. Mm. This is pretty much at zero, I think. Mm -hmm. Not really gaining any color. Iron. Mm -hmm. And as it sits, they will get darker. Which is why you've got a time limit for when you should test them. Pretty yeah. well looks to be right there in the zero to five as well it does the next one is what copper copper where are we looking at in copper I'm looking about mid i think yeah it definitely looks closer to the zero it does now lead this one is really rough because there's like no difference between those two bottom colors if this one gets at all slightly dark that's when you you know call in somebody to test your water like see i mean i don't see any difference between mm -mm. the the bottom one the zero and the 20. yeah there's there's not yeah it is not very different no, but it seems to be. It's either zero or 20. Mm -hmm. Either we've got lead in our water or we don't. When you I'm put it here, it definitely looks lighter than the 20. Well, I'm thinking maybe a little bit more, a little bit over the zero, but. Yeah, we'll probably have that tested. Mm hmm. Nitrite. Nitrate. Nitrates and nitrites. Things that are in hot dogs. Mm, nitrate, okay about zero 
The lead one is really the one that bothers me. You really with you don't lead want is too much lead in your water. You don't want any lead in your water. No, too much lead can be bad for you. Any lead is bad for you. There's lead in cereal. No, there's not. Oh, there is some. Oh no, it's iron, isn't it? You moron. That's right. I was. I don't know why I was thinking lead. Oh my god. Le yeah, lead is the poison. Up, see. Shut up. So is gold, but people eat that. Yeah, well, people are stupid. Okay, MPS. Whatever the hell that one is. I got no idea. There's no safe range on it, so I guess it's just some random number to know. That looks like we got a little bit of color there. Mm. Chlorine should be zero. Because we have well water. But it's definitely not, not zero. zero. You got chlorine in your well. I know. Awesome. I don't care about chlorine. I'm more concerned about the lead thing still. Fluoride. Fluoride. What? Now, allegedly, there's no fluoride in the water here. Why did it say it should be zero? I thought fluoride was good for you. It is good for you. But too much fluoride is bad. Mm -hmm. And then crazy that people one. are scared of fluoride. See, that, that one's definitely darker than that. Mm -hmm. I mean, lighter. It's like, got to be between those two. No. But it's not even the right color range. No, that's, I mean, this is a brighter color. Yeah. So I don't know on that one. That's the problem with this thing, is like, it's it's so mm -hmm. untrustworthy. It is. Okay. Cyanuric acid. Or something. Something acid. Well, it's yellow. Mm, looks like in the healthy range, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ammonia chloride. Ah, oh, ammonia and bleach. What a fun what combination. Is this? Not that healthy. Yeah, I guess. It's really dark. I know, but you know. Darker is better in this one. Yep. So I nice. really hate the lead one. That still pisses me off. I know. Well, you see, and now that it's sat longer, it actually seems to be at the zero. I know. Which is weird. I know. Because it's supposed to get darker as it sits longer. And, and the hardness seems to have gone up to them. Yeah, but it'll go up as it sits. That's normal. Mm -hmm. Now we're checking bromine. Isn't that the stuff they say that's so bad that's in Mountain Dew? I don't know. It could be. The water didn't absorb. <laughs> it's just it's sitting there in a big in. giant Soap bubble. Well, let's, let's give it a chance and go on to... Alkali. It's weird. <laughs> Maybe we'll soak it in if we just give it a chance. Well, we're right about 40. That's like an almost perfect match. That is. That's amazing. Awesome. Oh, that bromine thing is still like, nope, not going to tell you. Oh, now it looks more like 80. See how quickly they change? Mm -hmm. Carbonate. Now, see that carbonate one? That's what the lead one should look like. That's how they should do it. Yes. But I don't think that they can. I think it's got to do with the specific chemical reaction dictates the colors. But mm -hmm. that's a possibility. Wow, that's a pretty shade. It is a very nice shade, isn't it? It is, and it just keeps getting bluer as it goes. I know, very nice. Very colorful test strip. Now our pH level. The lunatics are gonna shit them pit themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, that was definitely getting into the orange. Ooh, we have balanced pH water. Boo ya! Yay! Still, that our bromomine still isn't doing a damn thing. No, it's not. It won't even suck it's, up the it, water. No, it's just bubbled there. That's weird. It's like defective. Oh, well, I guess we're not too worried about it. I don't even know what it means. Me neither. Sir. But the lead one, I mean, that's just... Uh... See, now it definitely looks like it's lighter than the zero mm -hmm. color. Yeah, so or at the zero color. That's the problem. Like, the lead is just so close. It's like what it should be is just, you know, a, a, a test module. See, this is why, if anything is even slightly questionable, you need to call in a professional. Because... I mean, I know there are people in the world whose color vision acuity is so perfect that they can tell those two things apart. 
that if you change the hexadecimal code in something by one freaking digit, they can tell it apart. I know, crazy people. I know. Have you ever done the color vision acuity test? Yeah, I didn't do it with the shit. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, line these all up oh as they god. get darker. Yeah, right. No, sir. No, no sir. Hello, Quill. In this lifetime. But yeah, here's our water test. Uh, when you do dip the strip in the water and then pull it back out, it just bleeds all these oh. together, which makes it so much harder to read because, you know, it's yeah, just because you can see it bleeding. But yeah, they bleed oh, off man. of this. I'm smart enough to get back on camera. There we go. Gotta find that damn little thing. And uh, also when you get it all covered, it bleeds onto the box where the things are, which makes it harder to read too, so... Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's normal for them to darken. It actually says so somewhere on here that they will get darker. But Yeah, it says read the results within 30 seconds in good light for most accurate results. Yeah, but there's actually a thing on it somewhere that says that it gets darker. It's like a pregnancy test. The longer it sits, the darker it gets. Mm -hmm. That's why you're supposed to read them within a set time frame. <laughs> Don't forget about it. Cause see now this one's gotten even pinker and it's like a nine. Mm -hmm. Some of them I don't think the time for, should affect it that much, but you know, anything that's questionable we'll get professionally tested. Yep. And uh, lots of pretty there. colors. It also comes with this tube, which I mean I don't really know why a cup works just as good, but hey, 